Tacoma Public Schools is district designated in the state for offering innovation schools. We'll learn more about that as we chat with the district superintendent coming up on Newsmakers. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are in Spokane today for the Washington State School Directors Association's annual meeting. And joining me right now is the superintendent of Tacoma, Tacoma that is, public schools, Carla Santorno. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time out Glad of your busy uh, schedule to uh, meet with us. As I said, superintendent of Tacoma Public Schools, uh, you're less than half of the way, almost getting close to the halfway, halfway. point uh, in the uh, school year. So how's it going in your district? It is great. I am having an incredible time. I work with an incredible set of board of directors and we are working on some really two great projects, benchmarks and a strategic plan and also on uh, making, implementing an innovation policy. So we're excited about that. Talk a little bit about this innovation policy. Fairly unique in the state of Washington for offering innovation schools. So some may say, what's an innovation school? Well, the state, you know, the state is the one who has uh, started this investigation into innovation and asked that we uh, apply for some innovation schools. So we had 12 schools out of the 33 that were uh, granted in Washington to be innovative schools. And on top of that, we decided to take a little bit further and to apply to be an uh, innovation district. And that was accepted by the state. So we're still working out what that means, but it is definitely about offering student achievement, choice, inspiration, challenge um, to our students and making sure that we look at things in a non-traditional way to help students meet, um, you know, meet their benchmarks. So we have a uh, SAMI school, SAMI is a science and math institute. We have SODA, which is a school of Tacoma Arts. We have Baker Middle School and um, First Creek Middle School that are doing some real different things. And then we also have Innovation Zones. So we have three zone schools that are working on IB, which is uh, Jadroni, McCarver, and Foss High School, and then two Montessori schools, and Morta come so we're excited about that so each one sounds like if I'm not mistaken has a, somewhat of a different emphasis definitely and then the approach the uh, the actual teaching approach is slightly different than your traditional model sure so you know innovation can go to curriculum it can go to calendar it can go to strategy it can go to teacher training there's lots of different things that form that uh, component of innovation look but the main thing is it's that it's innovation for achievement we're not just saying tie a bow or a whistle on it we're saying we want you to come up with a strategy that is really going to meet the needs of a special group of students or um, a broad group of students. And you also mentioned strategic plan. Absolutely. Strategic, the strategic plan, we've been working with this school board and with us uh, incredible staff uh, to come up with a focus, a laser-like focus for our district. So the strategic plan outlines what we do. Our main goals in our strategic plan are academic achievement, safety, um, partnerships and then specifically early learning and one of the things that shows the power of really having a focus is that this year we opened our first five preschools and uh, I've been in those classrooms with students sitting there learning their letters and their numbers with iPads on their laps and so pretty different than when we were in preschool <laughs> even, even if we even went to preschool right some people yes, just start in kindergarten definitely and that, that's the whole point is that we really want we know that one of the ways to get our students to graduate which is one of our strategic goals uh, under academic achievement is to increase graduation and we know to do that we've got to get students really ready for kindergarten and so we have some milestones along the way third grade reading eighth grade higher math ninth grade success getting to tenth grade and so those milestones are are um, supported by some specific work that we're doing at each one of those grade levels so really so exciting the emphasis on on pre-k learning yes yeah, the very important on, all right thank Carla you Santorno. it's a good time to be in Tacoma <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for thank talking you with us. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top and bottom of the hour.